My name is Hirsch Bargava. I'm a second year biophysics graduate student at UCSF in the labs of Hana El Samad and Wendell Lim. Today, I'd like to share with you research that I'm conducting with the goal of developing and validating strategies for conducting computer assisted design of immune cell derived therapeutics. For thousands of years, humans have been modulating their own biology through the use of individual molecules, conventionally through small molecules and more recently through a biologic therapeutics such as antibody therapies. However, if we ask the question, what would our dream modulator of biology look like? I think we'd end up with something pretty close to science fiction's nanorobots. These would be able to sense their environment, process information, and dynamically make decisions about killing, reprogramming of target cells, and migration and delivery of therapeutic payloads. While I don't think we can accomplish this using mechanical or electronic devices anytime soon, immune cells within the body provide a compelling case for how we can do this using our own human cells. Recently, chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy was developed with this principle in mind. For CAR T cells, a topic receptor called a CAR can be expressed within a T cell scaffold to redirect its killing and activation programs against an arbitrary antigenic epitope. This technology has led to revolutionary therapies for the treatment of B-cell cancers and two drugs currently on the market. The fundamental question motivating my research is how can we leverage the entire catalog of synthetic and naturally occurring genetic elements and molecules to build the next generation of designer cells with next generation capabilities? These might be the next generation of cancer therapeutics, Pro cells with the ability to remodel and re-sculpt the cytokine microenvironment during pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory processes, targeted delivery of drugs, or even epigenetic reprogramming of target cells. While current strategies for this sort of design decision-making are often ad hoc and based on many iterations of experimental design, I propose to leverage computation to guide our design decisions and streamline this process of computational cell design. To this end, I've developed a pipeline for the dynamic generation and evaluation of multi-scale mathematical models of cell therapy called CellTX. Using this open source platform, we can generate models and make predictions about how our design decisions will influence therapeutic phenotype. We can validate our predictions using in vivo models and in vitro models such as this one, where in a high throughput fashion, we can evaluate the behaviors of our engineered cells under the microscope. We can also evaluate their behavior in mice using preclinical models such as this one. Through joining rapid iteration in silico with strategic experiments, I hope to revolutionize not only the workflow of computational cell design and the development of live cell therapies, but also to expand the scope of therapeutics which we can develop in human cell scaffolds. With that, I'd like to thank my advisors, Hannah El Samad and Wendell Lim, members of the Lim and El Samad Labs, the UCSF Biophysics Graduate Program, and the ARCT Foundation for supporting this work. Thank you very much.